there's something very sexy and romantic about horses and polo and uh, the sport in general. It's very, uh, it can be very elegant. Details of how would polo players be, behave, how much they care about the horses, um, how do we travel. Um, I think in that way it's very, very realistic. But I think for the, for the most part the idea was that these books would reflect really what we do in, in our lives as polo players, is the, how much time we spend in the barn, the love that we have for the horses, the breeding, Argentina, Wellington in general, what happens there, um, the relationship between players, the relationship between players and horses and teams and polo patrons and, uh, and I think for that, for the most part that is very well represented and that was the idea was that through a romance novel and through a love story um, we could tell uh, the real life of a polo player and, 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 and kind of like the things that we like to do and must do to stay at the top of our game. I think it's a great summer read, I yeah. think it's a wonderful story that has a lot of um, light in it and I really think that it's going to get people, make people happy. And um, regarding England and the wet summers and all of the wonderful things, you know, it's a big part of the uh, DNA of polo too. So I'm really hope that if we, if you know, if these books get to be successful, that we on the next chapter on the next series of books, we can actually come to England and and tell the story from a from an English perspective, which I think would be a lot of fun since since the DNA of polo it's it's English. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, you English people, you, you, you make the rules to all of the uh, sports, so it, I think it would be great to come tell uh, the story, you know, for Alejandro and Sebastian to come to England and play in the next series of books, that would be fun. <laughs> <laughs>